G'day folks. Oh, I've got a fridge with an odd problem. This was my grandmother's fridge. Um, she Initially they wanted me to fix it, but she ended up getting a new one because this apparently this one wasn't performing very well anyway. Although by the, by the end of it we conceded that she'd probably overstocked the freezer and it was affecting the airflow from the fan force system. So that probably wouldn't have helped. Um, but it made some loud bangs one night and it was fine ever since and it's done it again recently and that was when they decided to take it out of service and get a Fisher and Paykel. Now this thing's only three years old and just out of warranty I think. I think it had maybe two year warranty on it. But I can't find anything that's visibly burnt in the back. Like she said smoke came out of it so unless it vented out of there like maybe this capacitor's arced over inside, I can't find anything. I mean, I've had the starting device apart. You can see there's a th thermistor in there. I suppose you call it a PTC. Uh, PDC starting relay. And uh, yeah, the warmer this thing gets, the less current flows through it. So while it's cold, it'll put a lot of current to the start winding and then it'll uh, it'll peter off as current as it warms up so it just it maintains flow to the start but not full current so you don't burn the start uh, I'm guessing that's one of the reasons why somebody advised not to drop a generic replacement into it but I don't know some of them are pretty good compressors are generic the ACC I've looked a lot of these numbers up all the numbers I could find I've looked them up online came up with a number of spares for this unit but nothing in the way of a replacement starting unit or capacitor. Mind you the cap's just a normal 4 mic 400 volts so I've got new ones of those on the shelf anyway. That's not the issue. I'm just wondering there's nothing really else in there apart from maybe the thermal switch. But the thermal switch shouldn't go bang and smoke and it seems to be working fine. It doesn't smell burnt. It smells like phenolic or whatever they made the housing out of but it doesn't smell like it's flashed over. And likewise there's no sooty marks on anything. So I don't really know. Either way, I'll have a rummage around and cut, cut this capacitor open and just see if there's any flash burns on the inside of the housing. Otherwise, if anyone's got any other ideas, because she said it was a fairly prominent bang, like it woke her up, and it did it shortly afterwards, like five minutes after when she was out, out of bed, it went bang again, and yeah, there was smoke, so that's really weird. There's no burnt spots outside. If it was inside the cabinet, it would have been pretty obvious, but it came from the back. So, weird one. Anyway, I wonder if anyone's had any experience on these. I did find some um, consumer reports, uh, some very disgruntled ones too. One guy was saying they hadn't even drilled the holes through the cabinet to the freezer compartment, so the freezer was working fine, but everything in the fridge went off. Um, yeah, somehow got through quality control. So the reports on these aren't particularly good. It's a shame because they're fairly expensive, but yeah, who knows. I want to fix this up for my sister because their old fridge, or well, sister and her boyfriend, their old fridge are, is on its last legs. So I really want to get them something decent, but I don't want it to be a hazard or a breakdown liability. So, yeah, what do you do? The fridge is just one of those things you don't want to chock it all full of expensive food and stuff and have it go out one weekend when you're away. Yeah, see it's warm, there's a bit of warmth from the um, thermistor, but that's normal. And apart from that, any other model numbers on this? No. No other model numbers. Normally one inside here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's the specifics on it. They're made in Australia, but I guarantee all the other parts are uh, Chinese or something. Yeah, WTM 4200WB. Yeah, I had a bit of a look online, I couldn't find anything. So, anyway, let me know what you think. Um, it's just got me stumped because there's no obvious signs of burning or flash over or anything. Nothing to explain the smoke. Yeah, it still works fine. I could plug it in now and it won't do it. It'd just be like once in a week or two or three, it might just go bang again and stop. Didn't take out a circuit breaker, didn't take out the RCD. 
Uh, if there was a defrost element or something going, it would have taken out the circuit breaker for sure. I really don't know. Mum has the big double door version of this and I replaced the uh, defrost element in it because it was taking out the uh, safety switch RCD. Um, that was $70 part and about 30 minutes labour to get it out so that wasn't too bad. But anyway, if you can help, you can help. If you can't, no big deal. Thanks for watching.